welcome to my channel today i'll show you how to make a 3d logo using this zoom application so first thing use the tool pen tool to take the curves match it up properly from line to line then make it proper shape and size yeah it's done from here to there okay so the one object has been done let's take it out of the picture let's do the second one using the pen tool so if it becomes wrong do control z and go back keep doing it till it becomes perfect so then we can give the last touch up for it so here proper edges because the image is blur so you know get the edges perfect so here this is done let's take it out again yeah so now let's give the shape for it properly let's adjust the object in the proper state yeah so it's done let's go for the second one let's make this also in shape top and bottom yeah this is done now let's give the coloring part so this black and white so we have need a blue color shade so yeah i turn the background the blue the border and use the 3d tool now effect 3d extrude and bevel click preview it's 50 point so make it around 28 between 30 so we kept it 28 yeah next one same procedure same process preview point will be 22 28 depends on your style so here yeah, it's done let's take it to the artboard oh this one is remaining or we can forget the name so here we create zoom first we check the capital then the alphabet the font should match if you don't want you match the font so as a tutorial you can just make your own you can make it as a mm, you can make it for your first time if you don't know Adobe Illustrator, you can just practice making logos. Just trace it and make it up. The way of making it. If you don't get the same font, just use Arial. It's just for beginners. Some of the beginners keep searching the font as shown in this video so let's use Arial continue as black change it to regular size and make it into bold and make the color blue so one more thing if you make it zoom I mean shift and drag it okay see the alphabet is not matching on it see properly Z is not matching it now the Z looks too bigger so I'll change the Z into the lower case it's on the upper case position now so I'll make it into lower case so that it will match up and it's done but now when the part comes of the coloring it will not catch the color it will turn into black as it's a font 
right here so we have to use the pen tool and trace it up again most of the beginners do this thing and they get stuck up so don't get stuck up you can recreate the phone by using the pen tool hmm. keep the image in the side and drag the and use the pen tool you can lock the image if you don't want the image yeah the phone to move back by pressing ctrl 2 first let's trace it up using the pen tool like when the color emerges when you're scaling or drawing anything just click on the no color button as done in the video and make it in the black and white only keep the border that you can see where are you scaling up z is done let's go for m make the size and shape properly take the angle measure it up curve should be perfect as per the m is made in the font okay one curve is ready now let's drag it down go smoothly whenever you are starting it for further for the first time go smoothly okay and here we go for the second curve drag your mouse smoothly here next part will be the finishing part of it okay M is done now we'll go for the O so first create the O by using the circle tool adjust the size of the outer part see the image is not locked so we have to lock it up by using control tool so yeah it's done now let's adjust the O on it 0 first one O and then we'll copy the same circle in by pressing alt and drag with your mouse see i'll show you if it's yeah it's there and yeah one o is ready and let's copy the same thing to the opposite side done now let's color it into black white is come so check the black color in the color tool same copy over here by using the eyedropper tool press i yeah done and now we want make a drill so let's press shift ctrl f9 for pathfinder it will be blink on the screen there it's come so we have to make a drill in between yeah there's one there's two now we can see pass through holes now let's color it up into the color of zoom okay here we took the shades and just zoom it up now we have to remove the background black as we removed we have to put another color into it as we want the 3d effect of it so let's take it to the artboard to finish the touch up take all your objects to the artboard whatever you have created see the size have decreased the, the inner so we'll ungroup it now first we'll finish this we'll make the artboard into landscape mode and first We'll adjust all the material what we have made and what we have created. We'll remove all the non-use non material in the side. Okay, now first let's ungroup it and again go in appearance, exclude and bevel, not in opacity, uh, 3D. Make it into preview to check the size and then increase how much do you want. We'll check, we'll keep it below 100 now. Below, yeah, over it as I kept triple one and for the next one 
you keep below 80 90 yeah it should look like a camera lens now it's done for zoom effect first we'll change the color because background there is no color it will take again black so we'll change it into purple it's not matching so we'll change it into purple yes little darker shade now let's go in effect 3d and bevel let's preview up yeah just make it little size will decrease up to lesser one this feels okay okay let's pick it up let's mark all together let's change the color of them also keep the same color as purple your dark blue shade as you want you can make it because you are a big now let's increase the size adjust the objects together and give a background color as you want but it should be an essential background effect should be clear it should match with the logo as you're making a 3d logo now if you give red it will take gradient so for that choose again gradient click on the object we click on the gradient actually you should clip on the background object it will start restoring it and yeah the red is too much decrease it check the blue ok now it's ok now click again back and yeah it's ready the first and the second the jpeg image and this is jpeg the jpeg J jpeg and this is the 3d one which we have made just now so you can export into png as you want so thank you for watching my channel please do subscribe